who um, ran into this bar one day. It was lashing, raining outside, and as he was running in the door, he crashed into this girl and knocked her over. You know? And uh, tra- he went to pick her. Sorry, sorry. He said, no, no problem. No problem. He went upstairs and he said, sorry, let me, let me buy you a drink. I'm really sorry. You know? and he said, no, no, no problem. Anyway, he bought her a drink and they sat there at the bar chatting for a bit, you know. You know. Actually, it was only after he bought the drink and sat beside her that he realized, fuck, she's gorgeous. Uh, and uh, he was kind of glad that he had run her over, you know. And so he uh, sat down and had himself a glass of wine with this lady and sort of chatting. They continued talking for another while and uh, their drinks ran out and he thought he was really enjoying it, he didn't didn't want her to go so just as she was about to finish up her glass he said he ordered it another two and she goes no no no, I said oh yeah you'll have another one. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) This is my third night in a row okay. As they were sitting there, having the most fabulous time, he was certainly having the most fabulous time. <laughs> they had one of those moments where you meet somebody new and just your knee touching their knee is the most exciting thing on the planet. You, if, only, if only we could retain that for you know, a little bit longer. But um, anyway, um, they, they ran out of drinks and they just realized <coughs> from their conversations that they were, it works fast. You should try it. It's a really nice high actually. Um, they, uh, they, where was it? They realized from their um, oh, conversations that they live very close together. I'm just gonna pull it. <laughs> um, and they, uh, so, um, <laughs> they had another glass of wine. I'm just trying to get back into the same moment <clears throat> when I wrote the song. Anyway, he was uh, standing there and the bar started to close. So he decided to order another glass just before the bar closed. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, he was thinking, oh, should I ask for her number or whatever? It's, you know, bar's closing and fuck, oh God, we've got to get our last bus home. The last bus was leaving at quarter past 11. He uh, didn't have any money to get a taxi and he thought, fuck, I better get this bus, I better get this bus. And then he thought, well, she's not getting the bus. So fuck it, maybe we'll both miss the bus and then have to hang out in the city and that's brilliant. And so he decided, right, I'm going to miss the bus. Clock ticked quarter past 11. He had this last drink in hand and he was like, yes, we're here. Right, we cannot go home. And uh, he was just very excited and, uh, you know, then uh, he said at one point, oh my God, it's half past 11. And, uh, <laughs> no, sorry, she said, oh wow, it's half past 11 already. And he goes, oh my God, we've missed our bus home. And she goes, oh no, no, no I'm not getting a bus. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend. He's picking me up at Twitter. <laughs> and he was like, that's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, does anybody have a cigarette, actually? Nobody smokes? Oh. And a lighter? Just to be open. Oh, okay. You can give that back to this gentleman here or something. Somebody, whoever that is, you can. Just to be, because <clears throat> she basically, uh, as it was back in a time where you could smoke inside in Ireland, and uh, as a kind of a kind gesture when she realized that the poor creature uh, had been thinking of dreamy, beautiful things, and she knew that that line did, was like a, a dagger to the heart. And she's like, 
here, have some cigarettes. And so she, she gave him three cigarettes and <laughs> left him there and everybody sort of thought that that was very kind. And he was like, great. And so uh, she left and the boyfriend picked her up and he was like, no, I'm, I'm just hanging out. I was gonna stay in anyway. I'm just, I'm just hanging out, you know, just fucking hanging out. See it. I'm just ha hanging out. It's fine. Um, I'll just walk home or something. 12 miles, it's not that far. <laughs> and so, uh, eventually he went outside and kind of stood in the cold and it was starting to rain and he was like, oh shit, you know. He went to the bank, put the card into the bank and had a look at how much money he had and it was 47 euro, no pounds it was at the time, 47 pounds and he was thinking, okay, that will get me most of the way home. So he went home and wrote and recorded this song this night. He said, cheers, darling. Here's to you and your, your lover boy. Cheers, darling. I've got years to wait around for you. Cheers, darling. I've got your wedding bells in my ear. Cheers, darling. You gave me three cigarettes. Smoke my tears away, and I die when you mention his name. I'm too shy, and I should have kissed you when we were running in the rain. But what am I?
fear. 